We all remember Black Mirror, right? This is the episode with Miley Cyrus, where Miley Cyrus pl plays Ashley O, the uh, pop star, sort of Britney Spears type figure. I thought Miley killed this role. The interesting thing is that this Black Mirror episode predicted the whole AI music takeover. I'm begging you, please don't Yo, this is intense. I forgot that Miley pulled out the acting chops for this. Ashley O is like predicting Drake's future with all this AI stuff. Oh my God. The fans, when the fans save the day. Do anything for your favorite pop star. Honestly, I would break Miley Cyrus out of any hospital or prison or anything. And there we go. That's sort of the premise of uh, the future of AI music. Uh, I pulled up a few different AI music that I want to react to. And the first one is this, this Demon Slayer opening theme. I want to hear it like just how it normally is before I react to the Ariana Grande version because I've never seen it. Okay, well, right off the bat, the singer does kind of have an Ariana Grande. The singer definitely has an Ariana Grande-esque um, tone to, to their voice. I feel like Ariana Grande would be so down to do a song for an anime. She's also huge in Japan. I wonder how the shows are going to react to this. Maybe put her in the song. It sounds like her, but it it's in the little, like, in the little things where you can tell that it's, like, off. Um... You can tell, right? Like you can kind of tell. I like Ari singing in Japanese though. Can we get an Ari J-pop uh, collab? I feel like Worst Behavior is pretty J-pop though. Like this has such a J-pop anime intro vibe to it. I would give this Demon Slayer AI six out of 10 because it definitely like hits some good notes and sounds like her throughout the whole thing. But like, it's just not, it's not fully giving. Especially when you compare it to like the original. Like, it's, it's no Ashley O. Ashley O on a roll. The first AI musician, Miley Cyrus, giving. Oh, honey. This episode was good, but it was scary. And now it's coming true. Wee! Okay, so this next, uh, this next AI cover I have is the Ariana Grande covering Kill Bill by SZA. And already, I think like the key to the AI thing is, at least for now, like finding singers who have similar tones because just the notes work probably smoother. I'm not a coder. I don't understand computers and all that, but I'm pretty sure that AI has to have something to like latch onto. I'm so mature, got me a therapist. Tell me this happened when I don't. It sounds like her. Again, it's the same thing as the Demon Slayer. This is where like the human part of singing is so important because just like the physiology of someone's mouth and vocal cords has a lot to do with their voice. The AI definitely catches on to the speaking pattern like type of nuance of singing. Like when she says, idea. Ariana Grande would never say that. SZA doesn't say it, but the combination of the two, it's like idea. I don't know if that sounds weird to anyone else or just me, but the riffs sound really good with SZA and Ari though. They're a really good combination to do this with, I feel like, because I think they have similar intonation with their voice. So it's like such a perfect match. This AI Weekend singing Billie Jean by Michael Jackson. Like it sounds like The Weeknd a little bit, but like it's like pretty much Michael Jackson, but like sounding a little different. And that one sounds su this one sounds super similar to the original. <laughs> Those riffs, the AI riff. Yeah, it starts to sound kind of auto-tuned. I tried to click on this Drake cover, uh, AI cover of Drake covering Pink Venom, but it's taken down. So the labels are definitely trying to not have this be a thing at the moment. I want to see Drake and Blackpink collab. Everyone loves. Oh my God, Harry Styles covering Passion. Said, see, that still sounds like Drake to me personally. But there's also this like gap you have to fill in your mind where like your mind kind of expects to hear Drake's voice, not Harry Styles. So it's going to sound automatically more like Drake. But this is the one I've been waiting to react to. This is um, none other than Kanye West and Drake covering WAP. Oh! Oh! 
How do we know this isn't leaked studio vocals? Oh! <laughs> Sounds like that old the uh, TikTok filter is like... <laughs> It's giving like we want the LGBTQ Kanye. <laughs> right in his little garage. Right? Oh my god, Drake. Come on, Drake. Ah! Megan did it better, but still, this is so iconic. Drake, like, I wrote this song from the perspective of my lover and it's called what the whole hitter need a deep stroke they need to <laughs> <laughs> yo this kind of makes me wish that like they were queer so they could do like insane group collabs with Lil Nas X and just have like the gayest hardest verses of all time he got a beard well I'm chilling ready no not his drink has a beard this is actually really good I really hope Cardi B lets them put this out please please it's like unironically really good okay this next one up is Ariana Grande covering America has a problem by Beyonce two of my favorite artists of all time so I don't have a problem with this I'm obsessed with this I'm excited to see how it sounds shut up it's so good I love how they keep the Beyonce backing vocals in oh it's giving thank you next Ari we need more like hip-hop Ari Ari Chan give it to us and that's Beyonce for sure. Yo, but they need to do a remix. Please, please, Ari, please, Beyonce, please do a remix together. You guys just sound so good together. It reminds me of Bad Idea. In my DJ era, here we go. YouTube DJ, check. Woo! The thing I'm not gonna do is be a DJ. It sounds really good. I love that. Okay. I think I, I thought I just heard like a ghost in my vent. Maybe my neighbor's just telling me to shut up. The next one up is Nicki Minaj, AI, covering God is a Woman. You lala. It couldn't get the word. You nana. Okay, this one's interesting because I can tell this one's AI pretty, you know, obviously I know it's AI, but it's this one sounds a lot like AI to me. I'm also really glad that it exists. The OG version of AI covers is when like artists wrote a song for another artist and you hear the original version like uh like Umbrella being written for Britney Spears or like uh Britney Spears original demo for Telephone. I wish they would have kept Britney in the mix. This is really such a Britney song. I love it. But of course, Gaga and B did it. I'm going to just call it there. I personally think that AI, uh, I think AI music is here to stay. I think it's only going to get better from here. I think it's just one of those things where like, if it is used in the industry, we're probably not going to know. And otherwise, it's probably just going to be like a meme. Your fave covering your other fave song. I think that AI could be used really cool for like artists who have passed to see what their new music might sound like. If any if any AI coders are watching right now, I'm dying to hear a Beyonce cover of a Charlie XCX song. So please make that happen. <laughs> like yuck AI cover by Beyonce. That'd be everything. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe and see you later.